Hey friends, this is future Lisa, editing Lisa, and I just imported all my footage for the video that you guys are watching, and I forgot to include an introduction. I started the video by just doing my makeup, and then I completely forgot to film the intro. So this video is a tutorial using the new Sigma Ambiance palette. I'm gonna insert some B-roll here so you guys can see swatches of this palette and what the palette looks like. It's a really beautiful palette, and I create what I think is a very beautiful look. So let's get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I've just applied a little bit of the LYS gripping primer on my skin before I go in with this combination of um, Misha BB cream and the Dior uh, Forever Face and Body. Now, um, this primer is really sticky. When you first apply it, it definitely feels stickier than other primers, but I really enjoy this primer because when you apply foundation on top of it, you actually feel it gripping the product. And I feel like it does a great job of keeping the foundation on all day. I think it also does a great job of blurring and minimizing pores, which is one of its claims. Okay, so we're gonna go in with the Misha BB Cream and I have the shade uh, number 23. Now I've only used this once and it was the day that I filmed a video and I do remember enjoying it, although I think I had like worked out that day or I did something to where I couldn't really judge how it wore throughout the day, but so many of you all said that this is your holy grail, that you love it, and so many of you said that you find that when you mix this with any other foundation, it just looks amazing. So that's what I'm gonna try today. I'm using the Dior Face and Body, and the reason I chose this one is because this one um, I love to mix with my SPF, my Elastin Skincare. Is the last No, it's the NARS. Either one. It looks really, really good with um, mixing it with a skincare. So I mix the two together, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the Misha BB cream is really gray. It looks oddly gray, but it works. It blends into the skin. I'm actually gonna use a sponge to apply these two. So I'm just gonna kind of mix the two together on the sponge. And then I'm gonna go and apply, before I blend it out everywhere, I'm gonna go and apply it because I did pick up a lot of product and I don't wanna apply all of that in one area while I blend and then go to the rest of the face and not have any left. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it all over. Then I'm gonna go back in and blend. Now remember, a sponge is gonna apply everything a little more naturally, naturally, yes, a little more naturally. So I like to save a sponge for full coverage foundations. Neither one of this is a full coverage foundation. But I do like to use sponges when I'm applying really full heavy foundations or if I'm using really thick concealers. I can tell you right now that the coverage of the two of these is actually a lot more natural and sheer than I expected, but I think it's because I'm using the sponge. I don't know why I use the sponge. <laughs> I just had this sponge right in front of me and I had wet it previously before starting to film. So I was like, hmm, I'm gonna use it. It looks nice, but I want more coverage. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get a little more of the Dior foundation. I'm just gonna do a tiny, tiny bit of this. Not much. And then I'm gonna go in with a brush and I'm gonna apply it. And what do I have? Do I have my 106? Yes, I'm gonna use my BK Beauty 106 brush. And I'm just gonna focus this in the center of the face. I love this foundation because it is so long wearing and it looks really natural. It has a natural matte finish, I'd say. So you're not gonna have a real flat look, but you're definitely not gonna get a glow from it either. Now, I'll probably get more of a glow because I am mixing it with this BB cream, but if you were to use it by itself, it's gonna be more matte. It's just a really nice, natural coverage, long wearing foundation. My earrings are loud. <laughs> These are some new ones I just got from Kendra Scott. I love them. I thought they went well with the romper that I'm wearing today, which is also new by Ever Eve. I'll share it down below. I, when summer comes around, I love wearing rompers or dresses because it's so easy and it's so darn hot in Texas, like so hot. I need stuff that's loose off my body. I don't like to wear, even though I love wearing jeans, I, I, I try not to wear them too much in the summer because they just stick to my body and ugh. It's like, I just get sweaty thinking about it. Okay, that is perfect. Very, very nice. Okay. Moving it right along. For concealer, I'm using the Armani Luminous Silk Concealer, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply this real quickly. I've talked a lot about it, this, this concealer recently. It's kind of been my go-to concealer as of lately. I used a, um, I've been using a new product by Kiehl's. It's like a, a vitamin C eye serum, and it's a little thicker. So I'm trying to figure out if I like to wear it in the morning or if I'm just gonna save it for evening application because it's thicker than most eye products I like to apply before I apply makeup but it works well under makeup. It doesn't really affect the way my makeup looks or applies, but I do, I did apply it like a good solid hour ago. I don't know how it would wear if I applied it and then immediately went in and applied makeup. Oh, just love this concealer. So good. 
I definitely have a brighter shade. I feel like I could probably be a little darker, but I like the brightness that it gives. To set everything, I'm gonna use the number seven Lift and Luminate powder. I've been kind of going back to this one. It's such a great powder. I would say it's probably my favorite pressed powder, even over the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush powder, and that one's a beautiful powder as well. But I find that this one is just as nice as that one, I really do. This one's translucent and that one has a little color, but this one just like takes your pores and just <laughs> that makes them disappear. It is wild to me. It's so silly because I have applied this product, I don't know, 50 times probably, but every time I apply it, I'm still like equally as like, whoa, <laughs> like it's never, like I've never seen it before. Kind of silly. Oh my gosh. Okay. My skin right now looks flawless. Like I don't see a pore. I don't see discoloration. I just looks really, really good. I love that combo. For bronzer, I'm gonna warm up the face and I'm using the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. This is a new product that I bought, but it's not a new product to me. I used to love this bronzer back in the day. And I don't know, I was feeling like nostalgic the other day at Sephora and I purchased a few products that I used to love and this being one of them. I love the smell of it too. It reminds me of summer. It has a sheen to it. It's, it's definitely one of the mo more shimmery uh, bronzers that I own, but I don't know. It just works. Like it doesn't, doesn't accentuate my pores or texture, but it does have a fair amount of a, a shimmer to it. I just like it in the summer because I feel like it looks like your skin looks glowing and bronze and it's just really nice. I'm gonna kind of dust it on my nose too, as if I got a little sunburn on my face. For brows, I'm gonna go in with my Benefit Cabrow. This is a new brow product I've been using lately and really enjoying. It takes a little more effort to apply than my pencil and my gel, but I still like it. So I wanted to share a little quote that I heard the other day. I was listening to an audiobook. And I think the uh, name of the book is Atomic Habits. Let me look it up real quick and I will share it. Yes, it's Atomic Habits, but the author's name is James Clear. And it's basically about um, creating habits to, you know, live a more productive life, right? And hit your goals and just how to be a more positive, productive, achieving person, right? And it's all about creating, like the theme of the book is how your habits determine so much of like who you are as a person, right? And what goals you reach and um, and he really emphasizes like how habits are very easy to establish. Well, I shouldn't say they're easy, but simple, right? They're, it's a simple, anyone can establish a new habit. Um, it takes discipline, right? Because starting a new habit um, is not, <laughs> it's, it's not always what you wanna do, right? But, um, so the quote was standardize before you optimize. And he was basically talking about when people um, want to start off with like a work, like let's just use working out, for example, or you want to lose 20 pounds. Like some people will start off really aggressively. They'll go to the gym and they'll try and work out for two hours and they'll try and like do some, you know, huge crash diet. And what usually happens is you get burnt out really quickly and you give it up. And he talks about how you're more likely to establish a habit if you start off really small and maybe you just go to the gym for 10 minutes. You just say, okay, every day I'm gonna go to the gym for 10 minutes. That's the habit that I'm gonna create. And then from that habit develops, oh, I worked out for an hour. I took a, you know, hour class or you basically, you know, create the habit of going to the gym. And then once you've created that habit, you, what you do at the gym is really what helps you hit your goal, right? So if you just take that pressure off yourself and just say, I'm just going to go for 10 minutes. Um, then once you are in the habit of going to the gym, you know, and it's not like a chore or it's not like something you dread, it's just something you do. Um, then you can, uh, optimize, you know, you can't, you can't improve a habit that you don't have is, is kind of how he concluded that. And I loved that. I'm like, that is so true. All right. Then next I'm going to, um, blend out this eye primer. This is the Trish McAvoy eye primer. And I'm going to take this all the way up to the brow because I'm going to be using an eyeshadow palette today that doesn't have a real bright color for underneath the brow. So I'm going to use this kind of as my brow highlight. So the palette that I'm going to be working in today is a new palette. I received this in PR from Sigma. It's the ambiance palette. And this is what it looks like. I, when I opened this, I immediately thought this is stunning. 
I love the color story in this palette. It's warm, it's feminine, uh, you've got definitely some oranges, but you also have some rosy shades too. You get a good mix of matte and shimmers in this palette. There are 14 shades in this palette, and I feel like you get a really good range from light to dark. Uh, and there are some shades in here that are really dark, then you've got your mid-tone level shades, and then you've got your, you know, um, brighter highlight shades. So I just think it's such a beautiful palette. It is stunning. It definitely, definitely got me excited when I opened it open this. I did create a look using it last weekend when I went out. Um, so we're going to create a look today. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go in and I'm going to kind of lay down my transition shade and I'm going to use the shade right here. This is the shade Basque and I'm going to take our BK Beauty 201 brush to apply this. The shadow is really nicely pigmented. So this brush is softer and fluffier, so it's not a brush that's gonna pick up as much product as a more dense brush, but it actually picks up and deposits a lot of this color because the, the shadow has so much pigment to it. You know what, let's go ahead and zoom you guys in a little closer. Okay, that should be better. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna go with the shade Summer Solstice, and it is a matte shade. It's got quite a bit of pink to it, and I'm gonna take the 202 brush, which is a great blending brush, but it's a little more tapered, so you have a little more control, and I'm gonna apply that on the outer corner and kind of work my way halfway over to the crease. Really kind of keeping this on the outer half of the lid. So this is just gonna make it a little rosier, kind of cut down the um, orange tone to the first shade we put, make it a little more rosy, kind of romantic. Okay, now I'm gonna do something that I never do in my videos. I am going to put a little bit of that darker shade right in the inner corner. Um, I love this look on other people. It's just never really worked for me, but we're gonna see and, and we're gonna make it work. I'm gonna try something different. So I'm gonna take that same shade, and this is actually the brush that comes in the palette. It comes with a little dual-ended uh, brush. You've got a side here for blending, and then you have a side here for applying. Um, so I'm gonna take that side of the brush and we're gonna pack a little bit of this just in the inner corner. I'm gonna be careful that I don't like bring it, uh, I, I really just want it when I'm looking, when my eyes are open, I just want you to see it in the inner corner. I don't want you to see it kind of up into the crease yet. These tones really pull out green and blue. So if you have any green or blue in your eyes, this is gonna make them pop. Perfect. Okay, then I'm gonna take the same brush. I'm gonna take the other side and we're gonna pick up the shade Candlelight. It's right here. And we're gonna load up the side of our brush and pack that just in the center. So this is like a pinky bronze. It actually goes on a little darker on the skin than it looks to me in the palette. I thought it was gonna be a little lighter and a little more pink, but it's actually pretty deep. Like a, it, lo it looks more bronze on the lid with a pink tone to it. Whereas I thought it would be a shimmery pink shadow. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of pack that onto the center. I do wanna lighten that a little bit. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna grab this shade right here. It's called Marigold and it's quite a bit lighter. So we're gonna pick up this shade and we're gonna pop it directly on top because I want it to be a little brighter. So far I have very little fallout. Okay, there you go. I wanted there to be more separation of like dark, bright, light, dark. And when I did that first shade, uh, Candlelight, it, you didn't quite get that. It looked to be all kind of blended together. Okay, then last what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade right here. It's a dark matte kind of eggplant shade. It is the shade Sunspot. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that and um, apply that just in the outer corner, just to deepen that a tad. And I'm working really slowly. So I just grabbed a little bit. I'm gonna go and kind of see what that does. If I feel like I need a little bit more, which I do, I'll just build a little bit more. Take your time adding layers. Perfect. Perfect, okay. Next I'm gonna take the 201, which is the original crease brush that I used. I'm not gonna add anything to it. I'm just gonna take it and softly, with the lightest pressure, diffuse that outer corner up a little bit. Okay, I am feeling like I need more brightness under my brow. I know that I said the eye primer was gonna be it, but I need a little more. So I'm gonna go in and grab a BK Beauty 203 brush. And um, this palette doesn't have a shade I feel like that's bright enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my BK Beauty True Beauty palette because I have it right here. And I'm gonna take a little bit of Beam and a little bit of Brooklyn and I'm gonna just pop that right under the brow to brighten it up. Perfect. Yes, that's what I needed. I needed something to brighten that. 
Okay, I'm gonna take a clean little mascara wand, brush through my brows. They are overdue to be tweezed, but <laughs> my brow lady is in high demand. She's like, she literally books out for months. I'm really bad about putting my appointments in for the year, so I'm, I have an appointment. I'm the type of person that's like, oh my gosh, my brows look terrible, and then I text her, I'm like, I need an appointment. She's like, I can get you in in three months. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So we just go with brows like this for a bit. So next I'm gonna line the eyes, and I'm just gonna take a black pencil and tight line my upper lash line. This one and the Fenty Beauty Fly pencil are the best for tight lining. This is the Trish McAvoy gel eyeliner pencil. And also the Fenty Beauty is really good too. I guess the biggest difference between the two is the Fenty Beauty is self-sharpening. This is um, not, you need to sharpen it. But this is a little softer. Okay, so I put a little bit on the outer corner. I definitely need to go and kind of smudge that out. So I'm gonna take a BK Beauty 204 brush and I didn't add anything to this brush. I'm just basically using it to smudge out the liner. This liner is so soft and creamy that you can completely manipulate it if you do so right away. I mean, it gives you a little more time than a than other pencils, but once it sets, it'll do a good job of staying in place. Okay, so I just kind of smoked that out just on the outer corner. Um, then I'm going to line my lower lash line and I'm switching to brown for that. And this is the Fenty Beauty Fly Pencil in the shade In Big Truffle. And I'm gonna create a little line just in the outer corner here and I'm gonna stop right to where I get to the iris of my eye. Then I'm gonna take that same 204 that I used. I'm gonna kind of rub off the black liner onto a paper towel. And then we're gonna take this shade right here. It's the shade Day Lily, and it's a matte kind of orangey mid-tone brown. We're gonna take that and we're gonna run that over that pencil, smoke it out. Next, I'm gonna go in curl my lashes, lash primer, and mascara. I will breeze right through that so you guys don't have to watch that. Um, I'm still using the Dior Lash Primer and the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. I really, really love this combination. It's kind of been my go-to, so we'll do that and we'll be right back. So the eyes are done. I'm gonna move over to blush. I'm using this NARS palette. This is the Full Dimension One palette, and I've really been enjoying kind of mixing these two blushes together. One's matte and one has a little bit of a sheen to it, um, and it's just the perfect little combination of the two and I'm using the BK Beauty 108 brush. I love this color because it just gives like the perfect amount of color. It starts off very light but it's buildable if you want more color but I'm gonna leave it pretty soft because the eyes are pretty you know a little bit more than I normally do. Uh, for lips I'm gonna line my lips with the Persona lip liner in the shade Dusk and I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the entire lip. These pencils are so creamy. This is basically like a ideal lip color for me. It's not too far from my normal lip color, but it definitely brings out more pink. So I'm gonna fill that in. I did have a tiny bit of gloss on before, so it spreads really easily. And then I'm gonna top it with the Natasha Denona uh, gloss in the shade Nude. This is a pretty, like, pretty much as nude as it gets. It's got a little bit of peach to it, but it's definitely one of those glosses that just kind of mutes out the lips. That's why I wanted to put that lip liner down first because I wanted some color. Oh, I love this smell of this gloss. It's got the like perfect minty scent. Perfect. Ooh, I love that. So pretty. And that wraps up this look. What do you guys think? What do you think? The eye actually turned out Pretty good, I think I could have gone a little bit darker in my inner corner. I didn't quite achieve that look that I was going for, but baby steps. <laughs> um, I really, really love it though. I'm a huge fan of this palette. I think it's beautiful if you love warm tones um, because it's not all orange and it's not all pink. You know what I mean? You kind of get a good blend of both and you do get a great range of light to dark and matte and shimmer, so I really like that. I really like the combination of these two together, you guys, so thanks for recommending that to me. For those of you that Said to mix this with the foundation. I really, really like the way that it looks. It just, lo the skin, like I'm really loving the skin situation here. Um, I'll have everything that I use listed and linked in the description box below along with my shades. Uh, leave all your questions, comments, all that good stuff down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.